multiplying rationals with mixed numbers. This is very similar to the video that I talked about where it was multiplying rationals without mixed numbers. There's only one extra step. So let's look at that extra step and then we're going to be reviewing how to multiply rationals again. That extra step involves basically taking this, in, this mixed rational and making it into an improper fraction. So the way to do that again is to take the denominator 5 times 2, which is 10. That makes 10 parts in a whole, or 10 parts in two holes. So you've got 10 plus the extra 2 left over here, which is 12. And so that's how you make it into from mixed to improper form. Now, Let's go to the next question, and this has the mixed and non-mixed uh, rationals. In this case, for the non-mixed, you just leave it the same, but for the other two, you have to make it so it's an improper fraction. In other words, all the numbers have to be in the numerator and the denominator. No in uh, integer part in front. So 1045 times 2 plus 52 is equal to 2142. 34 times 21 plus the extra 21 gives you 735. Notice the denominators stay the same because you're not changing that. So you now have your improper form, but everything's in the numerator and everything's in the denominator. Nothing is in front in a mixed form anymore. Now you just have a question like you did before. So you first of all prime factor the first number, multiply that by the prime factor of the second number, and multiply that by the prime factor of the third number. Now, you put that over the denominator and again the prime factors for each, and all you have to do now is cancel. So let's just do that together. You have a 2, goes into 2 once. Now notice how I'm going to cancel because I'm going to start in the numerator and I'm going to see how many I can take in the numerator, and then once I'm finished that, that's all the cancelling I have to do. I'm not going to randomly say, oh, I have a 7 here and I have a 7 here, I have another 7, I have another 7, and I've got a 3 here and a 3 here. I'm not going to do that because I want to ensure that I've caught everything as I go and it's actually much faster to do it in order. And I would recommend you do the same. So 3, 3, there's no other 3's in the denominator, so I go on to the next number. There's a 7 here and there's a 7 there, a 17 here and a 17, no other 3's, 5, yes, a 7, a 7, an 11, ah. and a 13, no 13's in the denominator. So what you've got left then in the numerator, a 3 times a 3 times a 13, and the denominator, 19 times 7. Nice. All right. All you have to do is calculate. So 3 times 13, or sorry, th 3 times 3 is 9 times 13. Well, 9 thirteens you may be able to do in your head, but if you're not too sure, you, you know that 10 thirteens is 130, and so 9 thirteens would be 13 less, so that would be 117. So 9 times 13 is 117. Now, 19 times 7, again, you could do, maybe some of you can do it in your head if you can't. You know that if you have 20 sevens, that's 140. So 19 sevens is 7 less than 140, and that would be 133. So, you've got all that done, and that's it for multiplication of rationals with mixed numbers instead of without mixed numbers. The first step is the only addition. That's it.